Yo, what's good, you? My name is Clix, and today I am back with some more Pokemon PSL Season Two for you guys. This is a league that I was in. You guys <clears throat> might have seen the live stream, maybe not. There was not many people on the live stream, but we live drafted our goddamn picks, which is pretty goddamn awesome. But guys, I wanted to go through a goddamn team analysis for you guys, and uh, yeah, I. I I'm, Quick, like, quick thing about the PSL, uh, like my draft here. I, I feel like it's, uh, it's something that I can use, but I'm unsure how how well I'll do in the league because uh, this this draft, I think you will be able to see. You can see our first draft, which was the Mega because they had like it's like the USL, like how they drafted, except that they had a mega at the start, like you may take the do a mega round at the start. And I actually got second pick, and you might be asking yourself, well why the fuck did you then choose goddamn Mega Absol? Well I wanted Mega Absol is one of my favorite mods, let me just clarify it. That's that's probably one of my favorite megas. And I wanted as I said, I like to use mods that not not a uh, well Sometimes they're good, but sometimes they're not. And uh, I just like using mods that I like, that I know how to use, and that I like to use, you know? And Mega Absol are one of them. Uh, it's It's got that magic bounce, which is a really fun ability, so... Yeah, but I, I'm not sure. I, 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 I have mixed feelings about this draft. Uh, I can I can tell you that, but Mega Absol, that's my first pick. Mega Absol can do... It can do so many... Uh, it, it's it's obviously a physically physical attacker, as you can see. But you can run special because it does have some uh, heavy hidden heavy hitting special type moves. Well, yeah, special uh, special moves. Uh, and yeah, so uh, that's um, that's one way of a. Uh, 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 that's two ways of running it, and uh, it's really, it's also got uh, a decent speed. Uh, it's got 115 in speed, which is pretty good, you know? Even though, like, there are some Megas that have more, but like, for example, the powerful <laughs> Mega Charizard X only has uh, 100 in speed, I'm quite pretty sure. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I like Mega Absol, and uh, I'm glad that that was our Mega, you know? So next up we have Mew here. Now Mew, I chose Mew because once I <laughs> love Mew, and um, also, uh, well, one I love Mew, two it's it's unpredictable. You know, uh, you have to yeah you have to be creative using Mew because there there are easy ways like you can just run Mew as a uh, as a wall. You can run Mew as a special attacker, a physical attacker. But uh, normally, like people run special sets when they do that. You have to be creative. You have to try something new with Mew because it can learn technically all moves. Uh, so uh, it it's it has space to be uh, to be creative with. Uh, but many people don't do that, uh, and uh, that's why I chose Mew. And Mew also like you can bring it every match, and it's still impossible to like uh, prepare for, like the opponent can't uh, possibly prepare for a new nearly, you know, uh, <laughs> like if they had Mega Absol, even though if, like, even though if Mew was a f uh, was built as a physical wall, like it would probably not be able to take a, uh, like some kind of sucker punch or something like that uh, from uh, a Mega Absol, you know, but it's still like really, it's it's a really good mod, you know, and uh, I'm really excited to use it. So uh, next up we have Bishop. Now Bishop, I really regret choosing Bishop, Bishop, uh, because first I actually chose it uh, because I needed a steel type, but uh, uh, Excadrill was still available at the time there, and I really regret not going. Uh, Excadrill instead because uh, honestly, Bishop is just another goddamn um, another goddamn Absol. Nearly, uh, it's just got high attack. Uh, it's not got uh, as good speed, and it's 
It, it doesn't have that fairy type weakness, of course, but it has that four times weakness to goddamn fighting. Uh, so I, I kind of regret this uh, pickup, but uh, and also I haven't really used Bishop, so that's also one thing. I haven't really used Bishop before, but I know I've seen people use it before, and I know it can really it can really do some do some stuff. So I think I think I just need to uh, try it out a bit, uh, and then we'll see. We'll see what I can, we'll see what I can do with it, you know. Next up, uh, I'm actually pretty surprised that it didn't get picked up before third round. But our third round pick was goddamn Raikou here, and Raikou is really it's it's a fantastic mon, you know. I really like uh, Raikou, and it's like it's I would dare to say it's the it's the it's one of the better uh, electric types, you know. It's not. It's, it's not the best, but it really can. It can really do a lot of stuff, you know. And uh, with with uh, uh, a pretty diverse move pool, uh, it can it can be uh, unpredictable as well. Uh, and I like that. Uh, and it's really got it's got a beautiful speed with that 115 in the speed. So not much. It's really uh, outspeeding it there, you know. Uh, next up, we have Tentacruel. Now, Tentacruel, uh, I chose first. Of, uh, first, uh, I chose first because I needed a spinner, and I needed a water type. Now, uh, Tentacruel is a really uh, good uh, spinner. Uh, it's pretty good water type uh, and poison type, and it's got so much special defense. Like, look at that. 120 in the special defense. That's crazy, and it's also got 100 in speed. So if you do invest like just a little bit in the speed, you still like uh, outspeed a lot of mons, and uh, so you can make sure, like uh, for example, if you just want these rocks away and Tentacruel is dying anyway, you can outspeed that mon and get the rocks away. So that's a good thing, you know. And you can also set up Toxic Spite. It's got Rain Dish. Liquid rules clear body, so uh, it has some good uh, goddamn uh, goddamn uh, abilities too, and uh, it's also got a pretty good move pool, and uh, it can it, it can do work, you know. It can really and it can take some like super effective hits uh, on the special side, of course. Uh, side shock it goes down to, of course. Now next up is one of my favorite mons to use in the league format, or oh, just to lose in, use in general actually. We've got Haxorus here. Haxorus is goddamn like you can you can slap you can slap Choice Scarf, you can slap uh, Life Orb, Lumberry onto this guy, and and then you just set up a uh, Dragon Dance maybe, and then you just you just take life because. It has a 147 in the attack, as you can see. Mold Breaker, so if, like, for example, I don't know, normal, regular Charizard, with, or Mega Charizard Y for that, uh, uh, it can Earthquake it and down it goes, uh, if I don't want to get locked into Outreach or something like that. It, it's, it's really, it's a really good mod, you know? And, uh, I really love it because it can. It's a, again a diverse move pool, and uh, it's got pretty good speed, and it hits so damn damn hard. And it can actually take some hits. Being a dragon type, it does resist a lot of typing, a lot of typings. So that's also really awesome. Next up, we have Gardevoir. Now Gardevoir uh, is was the last pick I chose, uh, and Gardevoir, I I have a mixed feelings about Gardevoir because. Uh, it's another psychic type, and we already have Mew, and Mew is the, it's it's a beautiful psychic type, you know. And so is Gardevoir, but uh, it's another it's another like it doesn't I know it it doesn't really click with my team. But I've used Gardevoir before, so that's why I chose her. Uh, and I needed a fairy type, so Gardevoir it was because I didn't want to choose any fairy types from RU or NU. I didn't really feel like there were that there wasn't that much to choose. I was Grand Bull. Uh, I think Slurpuff was down there as well. Uh, 
uh, aromatise, but that's that, I think. That's probably a little bit more, but uh, they're not, like, it's very limited with fairy types there, so I wanted Gardevoir, and Gardevoir, it can, it can be run to a different rate. It's, it can be run as a hard-hitting special attacker, uh, or a support mon in the special defense, you know, so that's really, that's really nice, and it's got Trace, Telepathy, and Synchronize, which is all, like, Telepathy is not that good, but Synchronize and Trace are really good, uh, really good uh, abilities, you know, because, for example, let's just say, in, in uh, physical, many physical attackers have Intimidate, you know, and uh, then we run Trace, and then we just uh, go in, uh, we, we Trace the Intimidate, and we Intimidate physical attacker. Bam. Or synchronize if uh, we know that we're gonna get poisoned uh, or toxic, uh, gonna hit by, gonna be hit by a toxin or a willow wisp or something like that. We just switch into God of War, take it, and then uh, uh, the synchronizes, synchronize, synchronizes with the other mound. So that's awesome. Next up we have Amoongus. Now Amoongus is also a mon that can really take a lot of hit and it can get really annoying with the uh, regenerator because uh, you can just take a hit and then if, it, if it's down on health you don't even need to uh, stay in and use a recovery move or something like that. You can just switch out, regen all that health that you lost and then come back in. And that's what I really like about the Moongus, it's also got a fix for if you wanna uh, like run a tank where you know that you're gonna take some physical hits and then uh, a fix for either I think you can kinda of just kind of actually it can be fix for paralyze. I'm unsure what it is fix for. You can induces paralysis, poison or sleep on contact. Yeah, I thought so. So yeah, Amoongus is a really, really nice mon to have. Uh, I know it's like, it's kinda another Tentacruel because it's another tanky poison type, but it's got the grassy, grass typing, which I wanted, I wanted a grass type. So that's cool. Next up we have Drudagon. Drudagon is another, with that Sheer Force or, or Rough Skin, because Sheer Force makes it so that it can get a really hard hit, it can be really hard hitting. And uh, with the rough skin, you can run it as a goddamn uh, wall with the rocky helmet uh, because dragon typing is actually a pretty good wall because it has it has like what three weaknesses and then a bunch of resistance uh, re resistances is that even a word I don't even know it's now apparently. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, I know it's it's kind of like another uh, Hexorus, uh, and since my team doesn't really have any like physical bulk, like it really doesn't have an, an enough physical bulk, which I'm really pretty uh, annoyed about. Uh, that I didn't realize that when uh, uh, when drafting. Uh, I, well, I did realize it, but that was. When we came down here, and Dragon was really the only uh, one that looked uh, when when like second round of RU, uh, Dragon was really the only. It, it, it I don't know. It was just uh, what looked good. Last but not least on our RU draft. Uh, we have a Gastrodon. Now Gastrodon, I really like Gastrodon. It can it can be uh, it can be run defensive. It can also do uh, some damage with uh, like it can have skull, earth power. Like you can <laughs> slap a choice picks on it if you want that. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's loads of fun, you know. And I know it's another water type, but. Uh, even though uh, Tentacruel and uh, Gastrodon doesn't have any shared weaknesses because because of uh, Tentacruel is uh, uh, water poison, uh, it doesn't have a grass weakness, and Gastrodon uh, is uh, water ground, so it has only a grass weakness. So that's pretty cool, you know. Next up, we have Nine Tails. Now, Nine Tails I chose because I wanted uh, a fire type, uh, and since 
like when you get down to the end oh yeah the NU tier and I honestly think nine tails uh, I don't know why I chose it as my first but it's just because I heard uh, like when we were drafting in OU or UU there were some people talking about nine tails as being a possibility and I don't know I thought about it and I just really wanted it so uh, I, for some reason I chose it first round I probably shouldn't have done that because it's in PU and it's in U draft you know so even though in U and PU like it's when you in, when you do the in U draft it's in U and below so that's in U and PU uh, but like even though uh, I don't know I, I should probably have drafted something else as my first but uh, it's whatever you know but I think nine tails again it's it, you can use it like the, the drought uh, even though it doesn't have that much special attack uh, it's cool because it has drought so it sets up uh, the sun immediately uh, so that's really good you know next up we have Haunter now Haunter I chose because I wanted uh, a spin blocker which Haunter is excellent at because it's a ghost and I wanted uh, again some uh, some uh, a hard hitting mon with a, with a good amount of speed and uh, Haunter, I know, I think Haunter was a pretty good pickup because uh, it can do a lot of work and uh, even though it can't take that many hits it's uh, it's it can do work, you know uh, it has a lot of good a lot of good moves and uh, yeah, I think I think there's I think it, I think even though like there were some that were unsure how well it would do when I drafted it, uh, but I think it I think it'll do good, you know. Last but not least, we have uh, Glaceon. Now Glaceon I chose because, as I said, I needed some goddamn uh, physically of defensive bulk, and uh, Glaceon fulfills that role perfectly with its 110 in defense. Even though Ice does have a lot of weaknesses, I have used Glaceon before and I know how many hits it can take. And even even though that it uh, has 110 in the defense, it also has uh, 95 in the special defense, so it can take it can just take hits for days, you know. And the special attack is also really high, so uh, it can also be used as a, a thin, bulky offensive sweeper. Uh, well, especially the offensive sweeper, so that's really cool, you know. And uh, yeah, that concludes our draft. It's a, uh, it's a lot of mods. It's what like I think it's, is it 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 13 mo 13 mods. That's a lot. Like, and that's gonna be uh, when. That's gonna be. To uh, like when I, when I'm gonna uh, prepare for uh, the battles. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be harsh, you know, <laughs> preparing for goddamn 13 months. But yeah, guys, that was my PSL season two draft analysis. Uh, you guys might be wondering when the battles go up. Battles go up every uh, Saturday, so uh, actually tomorrow. If you're watching this on Friday, if you're watching this on Saturday, it, there will be going up a video or uh, my first battle today. But like, it's going up on Saturday. You know, every Saturday uh, there goes up a battle, and uh, we are gonna be facing the season one champion sh champions uh, champion short circuit, aka Nicholas or Nick, uh, and he's coach of the Texas type, and he's coach of the Texas Typhlosions, I'm pretty sure, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, I'm really excited for that battle, and I hope you guys are too, but it's like uh, 11 uh, p.m. In the, in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night, <laughs> if you could say that, right now, so I'm gonna leave you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, do feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you did not enjoy. Do feel free to comment down below what you like, what you didn't like, uh, what you think about my draft, any sets I should use, and uh, yeah, uh, subscribe uh, for more Pokemon content. 
And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. My name is Clikes, and I'll be signing out. Good bye.